Okay, a quick video here. Um, for a lot of my students in GC 1028, we're using Python, Python 3, and we recommend installing Thony. So I'm going to go ahead and download Thony for Windows, since this is a Windows machine. And so there's lots of options here. Um, what I'd recommend probably is just install the 64-bit one, the executable. There's other ones that are portable, etc. Um, and you can do some extra stuff to uh, have support of a already existing Python installation. So downloaded, we're good to go. Let me just uh, bring up a uh, window with the downloads. One second. All right, we should be going again. Looks like it. Yep. So downloaded, and I'm going to install this Thony 4.0. Should pop up a window here in a second. There we go. So. You can do uh, the recommended. It's almost always fine when you're installing things, but you really should pay attention to some of the buttons. Okay, so you, MIT license, I know that well. Let's just do install, install. I don't like creating desktop icons and making a mess. You can see my desktop's clean because I choose not to show desktop icons. And there we go. So the installation is going. I'll go ahead and close that window. And it should come through. So I'm going to start making uh, some videos for my Python students in the computing class. Um, I haven't made any in quite a while. So here we're going to get started on doing some videos. I'll start with this one. Since I needed to install Thony on this machine, I might as well get that going. So I just uh, clicked on my start menu in my other window. And uh, I'll bring up Thony now. So on install, it's going to ask you, what do you want? English, Spanish, French, or other languages and uh, we want a standard and I'm going with English. So there we go. We're in Thony. We can uh, you know, play around in the shell down here and do things. X is assigned to and and then I can ask what is the value of X etc. You can play around the shell. You can say write a hello world program here in the file up top. Of course if I try to run this Okay, it's going to go ahead and run it, but you probably want to save your file. So I'm just going to save it, say, to the desktop, and I'll call it hello.py. There we go. And now I can run it. And if I wanted to hand in this assignment, I would go, and you can see that it's telling me that this is saved in my D drive on my computer desktop, hello.py. You can run things, you can debug things, but I'll leave that for another video. And uh, that's pretty much it for installing uh, Python Thony combined. Uh, you don't need to install Python separate in a separate location. It's included. You can actually see it's running the Python that's installed inside of Thony. It's, um, it's Python 3.10. Um, one little Easter egg for you at the end of the video. If you do import this, oh, it doesn't work. Let me see. One second. Ah, because I was uh, using incorrect syntax. So import this. There you go. That's what I wanted to show you. It's an Easter egg. So Python allows you to show an Easter egg. In fact, I'll just drag this window over here. And so I found this web page. I'll share it with you. Um, there's a bunch of Easter eggs in Python, including you can import the hello to get a hello world. There's the Zen of Python, and there's more. I'll leave. Uh, that for you to go ahead and I'll drop the link as I always do uh, down in the comments. Um, and uh, I hope this is useful. Let me know. Drop a comment in if you think this is useful or if you want suggestions uh, for other videos I should record for you, please go ahead and drop those down in the comments. Thanks everybody. And uh, I'll record another one here in a few more minutes.